Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful sunny morning here in Ireland and we are on a nice long road trip all the way up to track day performance in Wicklow with the 180SX in tow. The day has finally come where we get to test out all of the link goodies that we put into the car over the winter break and see uh, just how good they are and what kind of power the 180 makes. The last time that we were here, when we were running the old ECU system, we made the most amount of power that the 180 has ever made with uh, just over 500 horsepower. I don't foresee us making too much more than that, or just in around the same, but I really can't wait to see uh, all of the, the trick little ways that the Link ECU works and uh, the improvements that it makes and the, the bump up in technology compared to the out of date and old technology that was in the car before. Really hoping that we'll get some drivability improvements on it as well that uh, especially with the drive-by wire throttles um, we might even uh, get some pops and bangs and some anti-lag we'll see how we're going for time but uh, yeah guys we're about uh, a half an hour away at the moment so I will see you guys there we have arrived at track day performance. The car is already on dyno. Robbie has already gone through a few things and uh, he's started the mapping session. But uh, now it's just about time for a few power runs. So let's get into the dyno room and uh, let's see what kind of numbers we start to make. So as you can see, mapping is going extremely well. It's making really good power, but what's even more impressive is the amount of drivability and low down power that it's making due to the drive-by wire and uh, the Lynx control of the VVT as well. It's so impressive. We went from having about full boost at about 4,000 RPM before to below 3,500 RPM now. It's going to be insane to drive. But look who just arrived. Hello. Patrick is here, car in tow. Another car for the TDP Dyno, and uh, we're really looking forward to seeing what uh, Patrick's car as well is going to be going to be like because uh, uh, his is like a similar enough spec SR to mine, but just uh, two liter, so slightly different. But it uh, should be very interesting to see what kind of power this thing makes as well, and again how drivable it is because uh, you had uh, quite a big turbo on it before, pa Patrick, and uh, now it'd be nice to make it nice and responsive and, and easy drivable. to drive. The main thing is drivable. Yeah. yeah. So time to get it off the trailer, finish up uh, mapping mine, it, uh, Robbie said he has a little bit of secret sauce that he's going to put into it for the last few runs and uh, maybe test out that anti-lag. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Well, the 180 survived another mapping session, thank God. And uh, as you can see, it's an absolute animal. Those anti-lag bangs are just so cool. And the two-step at the start as well, man, it was spitting flames. So, but uh, yeah, super happy with how it actually turned out. Check out these before and after curves. They're absolutely insane. So here's the power curve straight off. Your green and red is the uh, current power now, and then the dotted lines are the power that it was before. So you can see how much earlier it's actually coming on, and the bottom line down here then is our, our low boost map. It's only about 20 horsepower more, but it's coming on about a 700 RPM lower, and its peak power is about 700 RPM lower as well. Now if you think that's impressive, then check out the torque curve. Here you can see the old torque curve, uh, wet map and then dry map. It wasn't peak torquing until over 5,000 RPM. Now it's peak torquing at just over 3,500 before, before 4,000 RPM. And it's coming in at about 470 foot pounds of torque, whereas before it was like just shy over 420 that's going to make such a difference for drivability and that's all thanks to the drive-by wire and how the link ECU also controls the VVC it's going to be a completely different car to drive instead of absolutely having to like a typical SR having to drive it so hard and so high in the rev range now I'm going to have so much more usability and it's just going to be a much nicer car to drive overall but uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it. I think it's about time to load up and uh, yeah, get this baby home. That's the 180 back home in the garage after a long, long day, but a super successful day. Again, massive shout out to Robbie at Track Day Performance and of course our title sponsor for the year, year, year Link ECU. If this doesn't prove that Link ECU products are the best out there, the difference that they made to the 180, it was a good car before, but it's just going to be a phenomenal car this year. Make sure you hit Link ECU up if you want uh, some, of that, some of those awesome products and uh, yeah, we are just six days away now from the 180's first outing of the year at the Drift Games practice day. So we will catch you guys there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.